weigh-in of the entire prep. We're almost under 200. That's crazy. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Road to Summer Shredding episode like eight, seven or eight, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've done a fitness update. It's been a couple weeks. I missed last week because I was super busy with Chris and everything, but I wanna get back into the fitness updates for you guys and I know some of you really, really enjoy it. So we are doing a full fitness update today as well as like just like a day in the life video, I guess. So really, really relaxed video. We're gonna go through the stage that I'm in right now with my prep for summer shredding as well as I have a few errands to run. So. Sit back, relax, it's gonna be an awesome video. Speaking of summer shredding prep, we are eight weeks out. Don't pay attention to all the dirty dishes here. Gonna do that later. We are eight weeks out until summer shredding. I have eight weeks left. Now, it may seem like a long time, but for me on prep, eight weeks is not very long. And a lot has changed in my actual diet, which I will go over through the video. And if you guys want to, I can make another full day of eating video with everything I eat for cutting and retaining uh, muscle mass and like getting shredded, I guess. For today, this is my third meal of the day. I'll go ahead and walk you through the rest of today. Third meal of the day, eight ounces of 99.1 ground turkey as well as 100 grams of rice which equals out to one cup measured rice now something that i came up with which we do have to go back to walmart today and i'll show you that but these steam fresh vegetables make it extremely extremely easy for me to actually get in my greens because as you guys know i'm really really bad about that so just because i don't have to like actually cook anything and these just go right in the microwave I've been really good about eating vegetables. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat these up real fast. We have half a cup of broccoli that I also have to eat along with this. I don't have to be crazy selective on like watching sodium or what kind of sauces that I put on things. As long as it has no carb or sugar, I should be fine. But um, I am kind of dialing it back a little bit. So I am gonna use some of this taco sauce to put on the ground turkey. And then my favorite, some jalapenos. Ooh, this is hot, this is hot. I have half a cup of either green beans or broccoli, and today we are eating the broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out 40 grams for half a cup, and my third meal is good to go. 
Okay, meal three is good to go. I went ahead and put a little bit of black pepper and some of this pink salt right here and some spray butter to go on the broccoli. The results are coming in and the effort is definitely paying off. So I am gonna go ahead and crush this third meal right here. And then we can go run some errands, head to Walmart, and I'll show you guys exactly what I get for the week. All right, we did good. Things are definitely starting to change. It is a lot easier for me to actually get my meals down now, but I am finding myself really, really hungry and getting my cravings super, super bad. Like it's super weird because I have that craving to just be unbelievably full. Like, you know when you overeat and you're just like so full that it hurts? I like want that feeling again. It's very weird. That's besides the point. Things are definitely changing in my body. Is, it's pretty crazy. You guys will see it when I do the physique update. like two blocks away and I pretty much live at Walmart. I would say I'm at Walmart every other day on prep just because the amount of food that I eat and I really don't like buying in bulk because I don't like keeping food in the fridge for too long. So Walmart like every other day but we live close and it's convenient so all good there. Okay, we have made it to Walmart. I'm going to hook you guys up to the GoPro. We're gonna go inside and do some shopping. To be honest, I am feeling it today. I am, I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just super exhausted. Ugh. It's that time, it's that time. Good to go. Okay, I've gone ahead and laid out everything that I got from Walmart, you guys saw. So I didn't need to get everything, I just got a few things that I ran out of. Like I said earlier, if you are interested in like a full day of eating, like I did previously with my bulking diet, let me know in the comments, I will do a full cutting diet for you guys as well. Quick rundown of everything that I got. I do have a couple little secrets right here that'll make your life a lot, at least quality of life, a little bit better while you're dieting down. But to start off, my favorite steak that I've been trying, because I do have 10 ounces of steak for my last meal, is the top sirloin steak. It's the least fatty and it tastes really, really nice. So went ahead and got two of these. This will last me probably, honestly, two, maybe, maybe, maybe a third day. I also got grit because I do have three packets of grits after I lift. Tapatio because I do have a cup of egg whites along with my 10 ounces of steak at night and the only way that I can really eat those egg whites is if I load up some tapatio on it. So this is a necessity for me. Next up, we do put some Worc Worcestershire. I don't, you guys are gonna roast me. Some Worcestershire sauce on the steak when I cook it. 
Then for the good stuff, this is what you guys are gonna be pumped for. This is an awesome secret, so thank me later. Or you can, actually, before I give you this, if you guys are enjoying the video, please like this video. Uh, it really does help out the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some sweet, sweet secrets here. Okay, number one, originally, uh, I'll, I'll compare right now, hold on. Okay, originally I was using this sugar-free great value syrup and looking at it, this does have five carbs in it, which honestly, five carbs really isn't like a make or break kind of deal, but since I am on prep, every single macro, ounce, gram, whatever counts. So what I found from a local supplement shop, you guys can probably order this online too if you can't find it locally, is Panic Pancake Pancake Syrup. My favorite flavor is, is the Maple Madness. It is sugar-free, zero calories, and zero carbs as well. And it tastes freaking amazing. It's literally so good. As for this right here, I do have Cool Whip. Now, usually they have sugar-free or fat-free Cool Whip, but when I went, they only had the light Cool Whip. So what I do with this is it almost kind of acts like an ice cream. Yeah, and this is, you also have to find this, but I had some so I didn't grab any. Sugar-free Jello flavoring, I guess you could call it. What I do is, is I let this thaw out just a little bit, just regular Cool Whip, and then I will put some of this sugar-free Jello powder on it. This one's cheesecake, but I also really like the banana. Mix it in with the Cool Whip, and it tastes exactly like whatever flavor you get, and then nutrition facts on this are right here. So this is one gram of fat and three carbs for two tablespoons. So usually when I get the fat-free or sugar-free, the macros are a little bit better. So I use this very, very sparingly after a meal if I absolutely need it because sometimes I just like, I'm struggling if I don't have something different to eat. So I get this, it helps a lot. Macros are forgiving on this. A couple little secrets for you guys. Now there are more probably that I can't just can't think of right now, but for everybody that's not actually prepping or on a diet and you just wanna be a little bit healthier and want something sweet, get it. I'm telling you, you guys will not regret it. It is so worth it. All right, so to kind of finish out my eight week summer shredding update here, I'm gonna go ahead and make my new chicken recipe and show you guys exactly how I do it. This is my new favorite way. It's not the easiest, but it is my favorite way to make chicken now. By the way, let's just let's clear this up right now. If you wash your chicken, you're gross. Dustin, you're supposed to wash chicken. No, absolutely not. You are not supposed to wash your chicken. I can't remember, there's a website, FDA, whatever it was, I don't remember. They specifically said, do not wash your chicken because all of like the the goo and the nastiness from this box gets on everything and gets all germy and stuff. You don't want that. No, do not wash your chicken. And I've never washed my chicken. And I'm great. I feel amazing. I'm healthy as a horse right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this breast in half. Makes it easier to cook a little bit. Makes it cook a little faster. Let's cut this in half and season it up. And the new way we are making the chicken, we use the pink salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and I have recently discovered, I literally put this on everything now, Herbs de, de Province, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know where Tiana found this, but this is absolutely amazing, and I put it on my salmon, my chicken, whatever I'm cooking, it just makes it amazing, so we go ahead and season this chicken up, and we'll have a nice fourth meal, I guess you could call it. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention this, in between my meals, I do like to have some BCAs to give me a little bit of energy, make sure I am recovering okay and still getting some muscle growth in. I do drink some BCAs in between meals or during my workout, just depends on how I'm feeling or if I end up forgetting it or not. We've got seven ounces of chicken with, I know this looks totally pitiful, 100 grams of rice. I'm only allowed to eat 100 grams of rice for my fourth and fifth meal and then no carbs on my sixth meal. It's getting rough, boys. It's definitely, definitely getting rough. I also added in another 40 grams of the broccoli from this morning and I'm gonna give you guys the last secret for today and that is some of the best barbecue sauce ever. I can have normal barbecue sauce. Well, this might even be better than normal barbecue sauce. I gave everybody into Tiana just got home from work. I gave everybody my uh, my secrets today 
for keeping yourself a little bit happy while dieting. So like this. Oh, like the cucumber and stuff. Like, oh, I didn't even show them. Oh, that. see, that's a good one. Okay. okay. Do you guys hold on? Let's just take a moment. He does this every time, and guess who cleans it up? I do. <laughs> All right, that's enough for for video purposes here, but. This stuff is only two carbs per serving, and a serving size is two tablespoons. So I don't eat a lot of it. That's really good, actually. It is. is there any sugar in it? No sugar. Sugar. -free. No sugar. Yeah, it's really good here. Just try a piece. I mean, sauce. Okay, take it easy. Try it. It tastes like normal barbecue it like sauce. Normal barbecue sauce. Looks pretty wild. So I got this at Walmart. You don't have to get any. That's really good. You don't have to get this from anywhere that's weird or whatever. It's just uh. G. Hughes Smokehouse Sugar-Free Barbecue Sauce. Mm -hmm. Would recommend, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Wait, so you seriously didn't show them the cucumber? Not yet. Oh.